but it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, I've been struggling to film this video for like a week. My ice cream beauty box came in a week ago and I was supposed to film a week ago and it just did not happen. As some of you may know, your girl is suffering from gallstones. I had about two or three different attacks this week, which sucks. If you've had gallstones, then you know. I'm finally going to unbox my ice cream beauty Beauty box. You might be looking at me like, girl, there ain't no box. Apparently, there was just too much goodies for it to fit in their regular boxes. So they send it out in this cute little iridescent bag. I'm not gonna lie, I like the bag a little bit better. The first thing I'm pulling out is a cute little brush. Get into it. This is by Bailey? 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 I don't know. This brush feels really good. This works for girlies like me who don't wash their brushes. <laughs> that way we always got a new brush we can dip into. I'm not sure what this brush is for. I think you could probably use it for like blush. The next thing I'm pulling out also by Bailey. Now this one came a little open. I hope I ain't been messed with. I'm guessing this is another brush and I'm right. I don't own any brush sets. So this is nice to have an actual set of brushes that do things. This is what she looks like. She's not disheveled, very cute, too big for the eye. I don't know what I would use this for. <laughs> Maybe I can use it to blend out contours, but I usually just use a beauty beauty sponge. Don't know what I'm gonna use her for. Maybe highlight? Or if I do wanna do a little small contour on my nose, I can do that with this brush. So she's cute. The next thing I'm pulling out, again, by Bailey. This one's unopened, which is good. Looks like either a concealer brush or a packing brush. You can use this to pack on some eyeshadow or you can use this to blend out them eyebrows, okay? When you do the, the concealing of the eyebrows or the concealing under the eyes, you can use this for that. We have a nice brush set. Very, very cute. We love it. This is from ZC. Now this is a Chinese brand. Ooh, you can see yourself. Look at that, hey. We got a cute little white eyeliner from them. It doesn't show up the most white, but it still looks very cute. Bam! Look at those characters. The packaging isn't as cute as other packagings I've seen from them. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that is super teeny tiny. I can't imagine putting this on my actual like eyelashes in the top. I would probably use these on my bottom eyelashes. A smaller wand will be able to really get in there and get them little tiny hairs. The next item that I have in here. Ooh, and it's nice and bubble wrapped. So we love a good bubble wrap. This is by Appeal. I like the packaging. It's so simple and sleek. I like that it's hardcover, okay? It says 12 universal face palette. It doesn't fold all the way, so if you want to, it's only gonna go so far. There's a little bit of discoloration in mine. I don't know if you could see that on camera. Like, look here. You see the discoloration? It almost looks like it got wet. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use this today. It looks like it has little molds in it. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. It does look a little bit moldy. I'm going to have to contact them and let them know that my palette came a little bit moldy. So I will not be using this today, unfortunately, because I actually really want to use this. You know, I've never had like a face palette of creams. Hopefully they can send me a new one and I don't mind sending it back to them so they could have their, their palette back. She's cute, but unfortunately we can't use her until they send me a new one. Ooh, look at this. That is so freaking cute. And it is by the same brand, Appeal. I don't own anything that looks like this. Get into it. This color looks very nice. I'm sorry, I'm inspecting everything with a nice close eye. This one, it looks fine. I don't see anything alarming about it. That color is super freaking pretty. Ooh, okay, this is right up my alley. I love colors like this. With a nice brown lip liner, I will definitely be trying this on today. The next thing in here is by Illuminati. This looks like it's just like a lip gloss. Shimmer gloss, okay, it's a nice little shimmer gloss. It's a nice little shimmer gloss. Where's the perforation? There's like no perforation on this, making it extremely difficult to get off. The struggle is real to get this plastic off of these lip things. 
that is very sheer. It looks a little bit intimidating in here. Let me see if I get a little bit more product on there. So it just adds a little bit of sheen to it. Let me see what it looks like over that lipstick. We might do a little lip combo today. Let's see. I mean, it added a little gloss to it. You can see a little bit of that gold flex in there. I'm gonna bust out my Illuminati. It sounds so weird saying that. I remember back in the day, that word was very taboo. No one talked about it because it was like, oh my God, so scary. But now you got freaking makeup brands naming themselves Illuminati. I thought it was gonna make my lips look like I was Xenon from the Disney movie, but it's very subtle and it's actually wearable. This one is by Beauty Moon Cosmetics and it's featuring Ice Cream Beauty. So they collabed on this, Bodica Warrior Princess. This is what this looks like. Gonna be honest, the packaging looks a little cheap. I gotta be honest, I gotta keep it a buck. If the packaging is not that great, if the product though, if the product is producting, then we stand it. Ooh, it's nice and magnetized. Okay, you get points for magnetization. When you open her up, there's a nice little mirror. Those are the colors you get. They look very pretty. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I read this. Y'all can already guess what word I read first. I did not read Nero, I, I read something else. I was like, let's go ahead and do some swatches. Ooh, that is pretty. The next one is Legion, which looks like a nice dark matte. We love a good matte in the collection. It's a little bit patchy. The next one is Temple, which is a really pretty shimmer. Let's see how she performs. There was a little bit of fall off, so be very careful. The shimmers don't stick that nicely. I did have a lot of fall off with that. Like even when I rubbed it on, I could see the little particles wanting to lift up. Next is Polinus, Polinus. Don't know how to say that, but this looks like another nice little matte. That one is a lot less patchy than Legion. Now we're gonna dip my thumb into Nero. You can barely see her on the camera. In real life, she's very pretty. This palette is kind of white, so I don't want to use these dirty little fingers, these dirty little fingers on this white palette. I wanted to keep it looking at least a little bit nice. I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick, and I'm back. The next one is Trino Vantes. Trino, Trino Vantes. I don't know if that's correct. Let's go ahead and see. A little bit patchy, but not very patchy. The next one is Humiliation. <laughs> That's a very interesting uh, name for a shadow. This one is also very patchy. For a second, I thought that was fall off the whole time. It's my mole. I didn't even know I had a mole there. Or did I? Ooh, this next one looks very promising. Claudius, get into this. Please swatch good. I don't think the camera is doing this justice, but in person, that is beautiful. Next is Druids. The mattes in this palette are a bit patchy. They're not the best. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. The next one is Inhabitants, and this one also looks like it's a duo chrome. Bruh, that is beautiful. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Now that one is a little bit more subtle. You probably wanna put like a green or gold base underneath it, but that looks really pretty and subtle. I like that. Yet again, dirty, dirty fingers, white palette. We're not gonna chance it. I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick and we'll get into these last two colors. Dirty, dirty fingers. And I'm back yet again. We're gonna go into Siege. Yeah, she's a bit patchy, but not terrible. And last but not least is the last duo chrome. Linosia, Linosia, I don't know how to say that. Ooh, look at that pink and gold shift. In person, it's beautiful. I don't think you guys can appreciate how it looks on camera. I mean, you can see the shift. In person, she's gorgeous. This is what the palette looks like on my skin tone. We're gonna do a little try on. As you can see, I'm naked mole wrap for a reason. I'm gonna go ahead and put my base on and we're gonna try some of these products out. Let's go ahead and get into it. And we're back. I am gonna try a few of the products that I got in previous videos. The first one being this face palette by LA Splash or La Splash, not sure. I'm gonna try this bronzer. Okay, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Next, I'm actually gonna go into this Blushing Luna. No, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna go into Midnight Rose. I hope I didn't put too much. I might be looking like a little clown. I gotta do it the same on both sides. Okay, oh my God, it's just, it's a bit much. 
we gonna have to tone that down with some powder. It's giving jigsaw. I toned it down as much as I could. The powder was only gonna do so much. So we might be just a little bit jigsaw today, but it's okay, it's okay. We're fine, everything's fine. Ethereal highlight, we're gonna try her. You can see all my little bumps and bumps and lumps. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into this eye paddle. Eye paddle. What the hell? We're gonna go ahead and get into this eyeshadow palette. I might have to go into that purple. So I'm gonna do the pink. This pinky Trino Vantes. Definitely gotta tap off. Ooh. Okay, that color payoff is nice. That actually blended really nicely. It was a bit patchy on my arm, but when you actually blend her out with the brush, she doesn't look bad. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into Claudius. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. There's definitely fallout. Yeah, that is pretty. We're gonna be a unicorn today. I'm gonna go ahead and try to blend this a little bit and see what happens. This color is just, it's so stunning. I do wanna darken up the corners a little bit. So I am gonna dip into one of these browns. Let's go with Lesion, cause Lesion's dark enough to where it's gonna, it's gonna darken up the corners, but not turn it to like mud, hopefully. A little bit muddy, but that could just be me. That could just be me and my terrible makeup skills. I'm gonna just put a little bit of this pink underneath my lashes, like so. Let's just see what happens with Linosia. Let's just see what happens. We'll put a little bit of that right there. Definitely fall out. I like that. Okay, it was a good call. I do want to put a little bit more of that duo chrome on there because it did get a little bit lost as I'm looking a little closer. It did get a little lost in there. So we're going to dip back into her and just kind of reintroduce her in the spots where she went a little MIA. Now let's go ahead and line these eyes. Put the eyes in line. The eyes are in line. I'm gonna spray with my Milk Cosmetics that I got from my Allure box. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do the eyelashes. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Eyelashes. Eyelashes, I mean mascara. The lashes are mascara Now we're gonna go into that ZC Slender Mascara Z. Okay, we're gonna go into her right here. And we're just gonna use her on the bottom lash line. Is that what that is? The bottom lashes. I actually like this, cause it's nice and small. I feel a little bit less afraid that I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. This is a little bit flimsy. This stick right here, because it's so slender, it's a little bit flimsy. I feel like it's gonna break off in here. Uh, we're gonna have to be very careful with her. She's fragile. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these lip products. This is my MAC in the color Cork. Looking real 90s. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this Appeal Ultra Cream Lipstick a shot. This color is gorgeous. Now hopefully my crusties don't make this look ugly. Okay, I've been exfoliating y'all. I have been exfoliating, but the crusties just keep replenishing themselves every time I exfoliate. But hopefully I'll win this war. Okay, I'll be winning some little battles here and there, but I need to win the war. It feels amazing. Definitely creamy. I like this color. It's very neutral. It's like a nice little nudie for, you know, us brown girls. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try this Illuminati lip gloss. This is the final look. Justin's definitely gonna have to take me somewhere. I don't care where we go. It's late at night, he gonna have to take me somewhere. Just, I don't care. Let's just go down the block. Overall, I really did enjoy this box. Now let's go ahead and get into these prices. This Bodica palette by Beauty Moon Cosmetics and Ice Cream Beauty. This one is gonna run you $33. Would I pay $33 for this? No. I'll probably use this with other palettes that have better mattes so that it blends a little bit better, but I will be using these duochromes. The next 
thing in here is the Sculpt Artistry Face Palette by Appeal Cosmetics. And this is gonna run you $22. The first row of the palette can be used as highlight or concealer. The second row can be used as bronzer or concealer. And the last row can be used as blush or lipstick. So hopefully I can get a new one so I can try this out. Next are the Belly Brushes. Bailey? I hope I'm saying that right. And they are $15. It says the largest brush can be used for foundation. I used it for like blush. The medium brush is for concealer and precise, precise contouring. And the smallest brush is a flat shader brush that can be used for precise contouring or applying ad eyeshadow. Why can't I talk? Applying eyeshadow to the eyes. The next item on here is the Appeal Cosmetics Ultra Cream Lipstick. Now this one is gonna run you $21. It feels good. I'm not gonna lie. It feels good. It's a pretty color. Then we have the Illuminati Cosmetics Posh Lip Gloss. And this can be used as a topper or on its own. This is $20. And last is the ZC Cosmetics Thin Wand Mascara. This gonna run you $24. Now I'm gagging at the price of this simply because the wand is so flimsy. This is gonna break. It's very difficult to get it back in the container. And because it's flimsy, Flimsy, it makes it even more difficult. You don't want to press too hard because then it's going to snap right off. We not, we not paying $24 for this. But we're happy to get it in the box and use it for these lower lashes. I am considering getting the bag as well because they got a lot of really cute stuff in the bag and the bag is different from the box. It's a completely different lineup of products. So we're, we're going to consider her because we like the box. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so you you can become a Febe. I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. I did contact Ice Cream Beauty about my face palette. They actually like responded very quickly and they were like, oh, this is the first time we're hearing about a problem like this. They asked for photos and then they said it could possibly be like wax bloom. They just wanted to make sure there wasn't any mold in the product because if there's mold in it, then they want to investigate to make sure that they're not sending out moldy products to all of their clients. So I'm gonna be honest, we stand Ice Cream Beauty even more because they have good customer service. You reach out to some of these places with a problem and they act like they deaf, dumb, and blind. I really do appreciate that they responded to my email immediately. They did say that if, you know, there's major issues and things like that, that they will send me a new palette. And if you see me with the palette in the future, then you know they sent me a new one and we're gonna review it from there. If you like this content, you already know it's, wait, I already said that. Never mind. Deuces.